So there's this white woman, you know, on TikTok. She could not believe how women in her community was actually defending Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, you know, recently the, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer series on Netflix came out. You know, I definitely viewed it as in, in its entirety. And, you know, that series in itself is just, man, make you shake your head. But it's also a theme I saw in that. And I may get into that in this video. But I want you to hear what this woman says about the women in her community defending a maniacal, evil, serial killing, cannibal maniac, Jeffrey Dahmer. Let's roll that clip. Okay, so I've pissed off the other white women again. But this time, it's not because it's the black women are the best and they got up and their motherfucking fails. It's because of the Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I was not expecting this kind of reaction from the white community and especially from white women. I, sh I guess I should have seen it, but um, wow. This is what they're doing. They're defending white violence by bringing up black violence. They're like black on black crime and black men. So if you were to defend the violence of a white man by bringing up the violence of black men, you're racist and your point is inherently flawed. Because statistics show, number one serial killers, white males. Number one sexual offenders, and the most violent, heinous sexual offenders, white males. Number one pedophiles, white males. I could go on, I could go on. There's a very specific kind of violent male in America, and it's not black men, it's white men. For you guys to be so emotionally committed to defending a serial killer, you need to get that checked out like that is alarming and it's 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 very it's it's bizarre mind you white supremacy makes you commit to some pretty dark fuck doesn't it one thing about their community they know the truth about their people they know just like this woman said it and you, you look up the fbi statistics you look at the profiles of who are the serial killers and who are the uh, pedos and all that. If you look at that and look at the arrest of it, it's majority people within her community. But when they come online, they got to put, they want to project and say, Oh, black men is the most violent, not by a long shot. Cause I told y'all black people's particular crime is relegated to low income areas. Once you get outside the low income areas, and black people that move out of a low income bracket and it become middle class or higher black crime is literally non-existent, but who cares about black crime because there's crime all over the United States of America and criminals of all communities. Right. But this quote unquote black crime thing is just nothing but a white supremacist trope because if they cared about crime. They talk about crime in all communities. Like when you see all these massage parlors all over the place, that's cr a lot of crime going on there. Human trafficking is going on in there. Prostitution is going on there. That's crime. But you don't talk about Asian crime and all that. You don't say nothing about that. Everybody know what's going on there. The police even know what's going on there. They always busting them and they put one right back up the next day. Hispanics committing crime. They got gangs. They got, they, they got cartels trapped, uh, bringing in drugs and all that. What are you talking about? They crime. There's always black crime. Everything has to do with black people. Now, for those women defending Jeffrey Dahmer and all of that, well, you gotta remember, even in the show itself, he had white women sending him money. They were his fans, either other white men were his fans, and they knew exactly what he'd done. Jeffrey Dahmer was an LGBTQ man. He targeted other LGBTQ people, mostly black. Now he did, you know, of course we know about the two, um, Asian, you know, young men that he uh, definitely targeted, you know, one of them got away, but the other one, you know, he, he was given, you know, literally gave him back to Jeffrey Dahmer, the police, literally, right? But all during even that show itself, if you didn't pay attention to the theme, the theme showed how a white man can get away with whatever, whatever he can get away with. This guy was killing for over a decade. And so many times in that show, when they like, for instance, the one thing that, that stuck out for me when I saw the show is when they pulled over Jeffrey Dahmer when he had a body chopped up in some bags. He was drunk. He should have went to jail and the car searched. 
well, I don't want to ruin your life and all of that. So just turn around and go home. So you let him turn around and go home drunk. Now that had been a black man. He would have been taken to jail and able to search them bags and to find out what he had in there. You remember the other part of the show when he had uh, violated that, uh, Asian boy, I'm talking about the, the, the older brother first. And he went to, he went to court. What does the judge say? Well, you know, he kind of remind me of some family member of his and, you know, I want to give him, I believe in second chances. That stuff happens with these people. It happens. They let them off for heinous things. I'll give them a slap on the wrist and they're right back out. I've talked to many brothers who have been in prison and they say people like that who are touching children and doing all kinds of things like that. They in and out. They don't stay in there long. Well, let, let somebody have some drugs in their pocket. They in there for football numbers. There was many times you saw on the show where, you know, the sister kept calling in on him, didn't do nothing about it. It took finally toward the end of one brother escaping that, and they actually paid attention to him to arrest that fool. In that whole show for me, it was about how white supremacy coddles is criminals. That's exactly what that was about, how black people are never paid attention to in this society and the depravity of Jeffrey Dahmer and anybody who agreed with Jeffrey Dahmer. You understand? So it doesn't surprise me that what I'm hearing in this video, because I have made it, you know, part of my life's work to study racism, white supremacy, how it gets down, how it moves, the, the religion aspect of it. The mindset, you know, I didn't wrote two books on, on white supremacy so far, and I'll be working on my third one um, probably next year because I want to really show y'all the deep mindset of the white supremacist and why he cannot, he cannot um, think like a regular human being, how he's in league with the devil and how he moves. You understand what I'm saying? You got to understand that. And anything that you think that could be evil expected from the white supremacist. I, I've learned that I've accepted that. I've also accepted that they don't like us like that. They can't stand us. Matter of fact, they have a hatred for us. I accept that too. I accept it. So it's going to take people like this lady to call out those kind of people in her community. Cause basically she was calling out white supremacist females. Cause they're out there. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what this woman is saying. Like I said, I always tell people TikTok has been a confessional for a whole lot of people. And I love it. I love when they out here and exposing their own community. 